It's your boy Zappa King of the Giant Robots. Welcome back for your tactical forecast for October 2024. This may come off a little awkward because I've already recorded this and then there was such a significant change in things that I felt the urge and need to record. Not to mention, since I have my thoughts together, it's a lot more cohesive. So, previously in September, me and the boys, the Zeta Numbers, wrapped up our fourth archipelago, the Golden Triangle. We do not know when we will get around to our next one, although I think at least two of the three of us are pretty set on what games we're going to play, because Bomb Rush Cyberfunk was added to the list. Yo, I'm gonna get back in there. Uh, also, last month, towards the end of September, Steve and I wrapped up our Stardew Valley Let's Play. Sure, there is still plenty more content to uh, engage with, but we had already long since decided that we would end the playthrough and either move on or just go about our, our business separate on our channels once we received judgment. However, the way we were playing and what we understood or remembered was that Grandpa's judgment came at the end of year three, not the beginning of year. But I think we both can appreciate that Stardew is over and we can move on to bigger and better things, mayhap and hopefully. And so let us get into our regularly scheduled program. Super Robot Wars original generation on the Game Boy Advance will come out every Monday through Thursday at noon central time. I've gotten a new GameCube, so it is now much faster to get into recording another stage as opposed to, say, spending the first 20 to maybe 30 minutes just trying to get the GameCube to read the disc. Or read anything for that matter. The battery was going out on the GameCube and... Sorry. My eye is itchy and I suppose I'm on the verge of allergy problems. The GameCube's battery was dying. I think the read laser was also dying. So I just got a new GameCube so we can continue to use the Game Boy Player and continue to use actual hardware. Because y'all know if I emulate that save state button's going to get mashed into oblivion. We all saw Compact happen. On Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, at noon, we will have Fantasy Star 4. Steve and I have wrapped up our recordings, which, as I recall, we did on stream. So the VOD may still be there as of right now but it won't be there for too long. The episodes will go live, and it just so happened that Fantasy Star 4 ends on the 20th with 21 episodes, and Original Generation ends on the 21st at 42 episodes. What strange sequence of numbers, not to mention given the way that I do the weekdays and the weekends as Let's Play bundles, they end one right after the other. The 20th has episode 21, the 21st has episode 42, one and then the other. And then we get into the new games, the spooky time games. We begin on Tuesday the 22nd, Laplace's Demon, or Laplace Noma. It is a Cthulhu, or Eldritch, or Lovecraftian themed SNES, air quotes, horror RPG. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but the moment I heard about it, it's like, I think that's going to be my Halloween game. Let's go. And I'm interested enough to see where it goes. I did do a bit of like half an episode of recording and then did some grinding and then realized that the grinding is almost moot. 
but I am ready and eager to get into recording that, but I have to finish recording Original Generation. Replacing Fantasy Star 4 on the 23rd, we have more Revenge. Alyssa, a retro PS1 styled survival horror game, very much in the vein of Silent Hill and Resident Evil. I had taken a few episodes a look at this game back in 2021 and found that I was kind of playing it poorly and decided to give up on it. It's like, man, I want to restart this. So it ended up on my list of revenge games. Or rather, not the list of re revenge games, but the list of not tactical RPG mecha games. It so happened. It so actually happened that Alyssa was truly the next game on the list. And tis the season for spooky games. Alyssa will take precedence over the next game, which will be Gundam Breaker 4. After which, I think the next game after OG will probably go straight into OG 2, lest something else interferes with that? It should. In other news, and the grand reason for me re-recording, Bird and I have also wrapped up Shadow Hearts. We sat this past weekend as, you know, the 28th and 29th, and just marathoned it out. We went a little extra long with that one episode of Grinding, and we went a little extra long on a few episodes to end at clean points of collecting items and doing side quests. And it's done. It's over. We move on after the final episode goes live on, I believe, the 12th? Let me double check. Yes, the final episode of Shadow Hearts is scheduled for the 12th at... 3 p.m. Central Time. Wherein I am halfway inclined to just let it be and focus on two games at a time. But it's easy enough for me to just go through and render and upload the last episodes of the Alpha Guide and Rie. You know, just to put them up there every other day to have that third series going while I kind of chill? And maybe, perhaps, possibly, I make no guarantee of this, I will start Gundam Breaker 4 once I have Alpha Gaiden done, once I've caught up to the position that I prefer to be in, because we've run into... A bit of troubles yet again. Literally just last night and this morning, this afternoon, my PC started acting up again. I'm hoping that I've got it fixed now, but at this point it's a case of leaving my computer to render while I'm asleep and praying to whatever gods it is you choose to pray to and believe in that my PC does not crash in the intro. I got home this afternoon and made the wonderful discovery that AMV Hell has come back from the dead? You can find right now, no longer on YouTube, but maybe, maybe it'll be back up there. AMV Hell 8.5 is visible to the public while they continue to edit other parts of AMV Hell 8. I don't understand why it was split in half, but I don't remember their explanation. Whatever. I was watching that while rendering the last episode of Shadow Hearts, and my PC froze. Except for the rendering. The video continued to render while I was unable to interact with anything else. I had to guess when it was done. And then 
I turned my PC off, went through troubleshooting, and hopefully whatever's going on will stop happening again. We're still... It will, it's looking closer and closer that mayhap I won't wait until tax season. Mayhap I'll get a new PC for my birthday. I'll have to do some hunting and price checking with my friend. Make sure that I can use everything, including my capture card. I don't want to get a new capture card when the one that I have is perfectly fine. I'm just tired of all... I didn't have crap. I, I hate that I got past all the audio problems, even internally. It's like, yep, still having audio problems. We'll just work on it later, and now I'm having different issues. And I want to hope that at this point, like, a new PC will just make, make those issues go away for several more years. We hope and we pray. And I'll have to do some hunting on a pre-build that doesn't suck butt. Because even our boy Bird got a pre-build. And, like, a year later, mayhap, sometimes it crashes while he's rendering. Is it an issue with our rendering program? I don't know, I didn't have any problems until recently. But this is the avenue wherein I get to bitch and moan about things and stuff and the part of my life wherein I'm not recording videos or at work. So, here at the end, let's run it back one more time for the schedule. Oop, wrong button, there we go. Monday through Thursday at noon central time. Super Robot Wars OG, until the end on the 21st. That will be replaced in the same time slot by Laplace's Demon, starting on the 22nd. Fantasy Star 4 runs every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at noon Central Time until the 20th. It will be replaced by The Revenge on Alyssa beginning on the 25th. Shadow Hearts with myself and a flightless bird continues to be every even day at 3 p.m. I realize I didn't say that earlier. The final episode releases at 3 p.m. on the 12th, whereas most likely, or where, I, whereas is probably not the right word there, afterward, I will probably upload the last bits of Alpha Guide and Re-Edit, my first Let's Play as one video rather than three or four parts per stage. I used to do weird things. The other thing, well, well, let's talk about promotions. If you wish to continue to support me in my hard work, hit that like, share, subscribe, continue to increase number, and bring us toward the ever encroaching goal of 1,000, where I can maybe probably get some money from YouTube. Who knows? Because Super Robot Wars is full of copyrighted music. Also, here on YouTube, every Tuesday at 12.15 p.m. will be a short. Most likely, that short is related to a video that came out that calendar week. So, anytime Sunday through Saturday, that YouTube short could be related. Maybe it's something that I released. Maybe it's a preview. Maybe it's a spoiler. No, I don't put spoilers in there. But cool stuff in there happened. Or weird stuff that happened, like making an enemy split on the same frame that it should have died. Or successfully nailing 10 successive judgment rates. Way faster than Bergen, that's for dang sure. I also have been trying to stream more frequently at twitch.tv slash ace underscore zappa, the same URL here on YouTube. 
I've been making an effort to stream as a sort of backup recording since one time my recording was ruined by a crash. Don't want that to happen again. And if I crash on Twitch, at least Twitch will save the VOD there. I just don't get the multiple audio tracks. It'll just be all of me together. In any case, follow over there. If you're so inclined, you can subscribe and throw me a couple of dollars. I'm sorry that half of those dollars go towards the Bezos Fund, Amazon, and Twitch. But at least I get a little something. And the more subscriptions I have, the more incentive there is for me to continue streaming more often. Because now I have to give you your dollar's worth. Or three dollars as a well. I suppose one other thing is... I've been playing a lot of simulator games in my downtime, like hotel manager simulator, gas station simulator, been wanting to touch grocery store simulator, flight simulator known as Ace Combat 7 lol. Just like playing other games that aren't on the channel and probably would not make good for, make for good episodic content. Would y'all be interested in me streaming those? Coming to hang out with me while I just casually play a video game and lose myself into brain rot because I need to chill max and relax all cool. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I do like to listen to you, the viewer, for suggestions and mild guidance because numbers do not go up if thou art not happy. Thou has not clicked like even once. And when you do, all combat is over. Good night, Space Lights. All combat is over. Now that you've tasted victory, I'm sure you'll be back.